What started as a simple UI color picker and grew to have more options is now a full-on color and font picker with advanced project-ready exports, templates, and much more. First off, next time you visit Realtime Colors, you'll be greeted by a fresh new look, layout, colors, and font. Speaking of fonts, say hi to the new expanded menu. Why upload fonts or go back and forth to Google Fonts to enter the name here? Just start typing and load them in real time. And now, for the first time ever, you can lock one font, choose font category, serif, sans serif, mono, handwriting or display, and randomize, randomize, randomize till you find the one. That looks good, but the size feels off. And for that, you have type scale now. Different scale options between your headings and paragraph font sizes. Let's set it to minor third. I like that better. And now, export the whole code with the font names and sizes and weights for CSS or Tailwind and paste it in a project, just like that. But what about color exports? Are we still using the same simple code exports in just three color formats? What about exporting shades? Maybe export dark and light mode at the same time? Easier, ready to copy exporting? Okay. Okay, okay, sure. I'm a fan of making things easier. Let's put all that in there. Your favorite colors are ready to export in different and new formats, like Lab and LCH. Want to export both dark and light mode colors in one click? Themes on. Need a code to automatically update themes based on user system preference? Media query on. Shades? Of course, we got lots of them. Just choose the format, hover, click, and copy. Want to export shades in Tailwind? Shades on. But then I was hit by the notion that you can't always help everyone with just CS. CSS, Tailwind, or SCSS. So why not just let you export the colors in your own custom codes? For example, I love the primary color on this page. Here's where it really shines. We use different UI libraries these days to make our jobs easier, but customization can still take a while. Now you can just export these colors for all those libraries in a blink. You even have some popular presets from your favorite libraries. Click, copy, and done. Exports are fun. But you know what's more fun? Templates. An average dashboard with all sorts of components or a blog post to test colors and typography in a standard environment to ensure readability. And more templates to come. Let's talk color input. The previous one was pretty basic. You couldn't just change only one property of a color like lightness or saturation. You just had to guess your way through. So I did a little thing and now you have RGB and HSL too. And the ultra deluxe feature of this update, the eyedropper. Hmm, nice, nice. And now a couple of small but noteworthy updates. One, contrast lights. You guys suggested that colors might not be the best way to show pass or fail when it comes to color contrast, and that they distract you from the main colors. So I changed them to three symbols. Two, shortcuts. You have spacebar, control Z, control Y, alt T, control S, and control E with equivalence for Mac. 3. Some technical stuff. As a project that started on CodePen with a very simple code in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as it grew bigger and bigger, I found it easier to move it to a framework and create simple reusable components and scripts. And for that I chose… no, not React, not Svelte, even though I wanted to, but Astro. Why Astro? I like how simple, scalable, and efficient it is. And it goes without saying, it's pretty fast. We went from version 1 to version 2 to version 3 in just a couple of months. I can't imagine what great things you'll make with these updates, but I'm super excited to see how much time they will save you. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you do your magic and see you on the next one.